Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy Dan Diddy. And it's just Ace. Bam, bam, boom, right. And we got Moon Bureau featuring Sayori uh, Moriasi. Moriase, something along those lines. And it looks like there's another word they're not even going to mess with that one right now. But y'all guys ready? Let's oh, yeah. Are you loving it? Let's go. Come on. I love the furniture layout, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I saw a video of Moon at the gym. She was beast. Talk on the mama. Put it low. Not a hand she put not to show. Sit and come on, mama. Not a girl. I'm not so tall. You feel the man in my troll. No, 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 Man, she got the old school milk jar. Hey. That's how you know it's real when you're rapping over the bowl of cereal, man. how this house is designed for them to be panning scenes like this. Why do I feel like one of them is the other one's therapist? That's it? I guess so. Hmm. Wow. Yo, first of all, man, let's let's just talk about how fire this instrumental was when it just came in there. That one was uh that one was heavy. Dope. I enjoyed the instrumental a lot. Moon came through, she did her thing. I love when the beat went double time a little bit when she came through with the flow. I think she was a big fan of uh J. Cole's debut album because he has a skit of Jay Z talking about there's a kid right now eating a bowl of cereal mm. and they want my spot. I think the other person that wanted that spot was Moon. Yeah. She proved it, but I am against letting cereal just sit in milk and just get soggy. I'm totally against that. It bothers me every time I see it. Yeah. My daughter did it this morning. Uh, I don't condone that. Okay. It's a waste of cereal. Shout out to Moon, but we don't do that to cereal around nah. here in these streets. Yeah. Not feeling that. Respect that. Yo, this, this track was everything, man. Um, Mugio's always killing it, and I, I just love just how effortlessly she comes on the track. Uh, Sayori, I've heard her on a couple songs before, so I know that element that she brings, and she brought it with this one, man. I just loved her 
just element to the song and both of them to combine together just made it for a really really dope collaboration and i'm with dame how he said how they use this house uh creatively to shoot because it was never like a extreme cut you know everything mm -hmm. was free flowing throughout the whole music video and it was just a seamless transition from scene to scene and um it was just really creative in the way that it was shot so uh, I'm going to have to check this one out again with some subs and all like that, lyri lyrics and all that, because uh, this is one that I'm going to be rocking to because I just love the vibe immediately from yeah. when it started. So this is a winner for me. Yeah, I mean, this this was a vibe instantly. Kind of makes you want to learn Korean just to kind of get a feel for what they were saying. We are kind of vibing out just to be in the production with no subtitles. I know she was saying something deep, man. I love what Moon's doing so far uh, with her career. Like, the direction she's going is straight up. I love it. I love the vibe. I love the sound. Uh, this is great. The transitions was amazing, too, by the way. I liked how everything cut felt like it was continuously moving. Like they're kind of like kind of like teleporting to different spaces. Thought it was amazing. I kind of want to see what this was about. It felt like she wasn't there. Um like ghost. Like a ghost or something trying to keep her uh, kind of like, you know, level-headed. She still disrespected the cereal. She did disrespect the cereal. Justice for the cereal. Yeah, and yeah, no no brain to soggy cereal. Also, don't pour the milk before the cereal. You well, know what I'm saying? I think from watching the video, I think I understand why some people do it. Why is that? Moon poured too much milk in that cereal. Ah. So, but uh, see, when you do that, you can't take the milk out now. Mm -mm. And I already touched the cereal. Yeah, the sugar. But if you pour the milk first. I can't. I mean, it's weird to I me. I pour the milk second. Yeah, it has I, I always second. pour the milk second. I'm just, I've, I've tried it. It feels it feels off. It's like, the you natural feel like, progression of things. You pour you. the cereal, then you pour the milk. Fight me. The, but have you tried it before? Don't you feel like you're dirty? It feels disrespectful. <laughs> yes. It's just like, it just feels disrespectful. You don't pour the cereal into the milk. Nah. You pour the milk into the cereal. You don't want to even get that crisp sound if you if, Come on if you did it the other way around. Come you know the crisp now. popping sound? Yes. It don't happen if you did it the other Come way. Come on. Have you mm. seen the commercials? What do they do? They pour... Come on now. You already know. Come on. You're... You don't do that. And if you're questioning the milk, just add water. Just add water. I don't know about that. Okay, no. I don't know about that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, the natural orders of things is you pour the milk. Like you said, follow the commercials. Come on. Yeah. You pour the milk so hard it splashes out the other end. Mm. There you go. Let us know. <laughs> if you pour milk before cereal, please, in the comments down below. Oh, we're about to have some arguments. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, man. Love you guys. Peace. Peace.